imagery of landscapes, very typically cliche-like Japanese motifs. What he does and what makes it, I think, such a strong and imposing picture is not only its size, which is very ambitious for him at that time, uh, but also the fact that he uses these intense colors, which were not in the originals. He really brightens up, in particular, the, uh, the quarters. It's just an explosion of color, almost. And he uses a very strong and distinct brush stroke in there. Very graphic, a lot of impasto. You have a sense of paint, which is all very different from the flatness of the Japanese prints. And it is sort of a tour de force, almost, of trying out what you can do when you use direct sources in your work as if you're making a statement about okay here i am and now i'm going to try to be a japoniste making copies after for example the old masters was a very common way of learning for artists also at the art academies so when he's looking at japanese prints and he's trying to unravel their way of working doing copies helps him get acquainted with this new style. And you could look at them as imitations, but of course they're much more than that because he's also adding his own colors, his own brush stroke, he's adding uh, elements from other prints. So he's making a kind of new thing from these copies. It's really about uh, making it his own. I saw Pierre Tanguy yesterday, and he put a canvas I had just done in his window. I've done four since you left, and I have a big one on the go. I'm well aware that these big, long canvases are hard to sell, but in time people will see that there's open air and good cheer in them. Now the whole lot will make a decoration for a dining room or a house in the country. While in Paris, Vincent refined his technique and absorbed the many artistic influences the city had to offer. He actively involved himself with other artists, 